Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about a two computer setup for Zoom in the classroom and trying to avoid feedback issues that occur when you're on two different Zoom computers in the same physical location. For this setup, what we have here is we have an extra computer and that's hooked up to this Logitech BCC 950 and that BCC 950 has a built-in microphone and speaker in the bottom. And near the end of the video, we'll talk about how do you share your screen and make sure that you have audio for the kids in the class. So there's a couple things going on here and it can get a little confusing. But for the first part, what we're going to do is this. We want to make sure that this microphone's off, okay? But I want you to click on the up arrow here. And you click on that up arrow and I want you to check the speaker settings. Okay, so for this computer right here, I'm plugged in with this HDMI to a projector. I'm going to go over here and I want to make sure my speakers here are not set to the projector. So don't set the speakers here in Zoom to the projector. If I do that, um, almost automatically you're gonna get feedback. Let's see if that happens. So now I get some feedback and it definitely is feeding back. You can hear it's coming through the projector. It's very annoying and loud. I'm gonna set it back to the speakers right here. So that should solve a lot of the feedback is make sure that these are set to the internal speakers this is in Zoom. Remember, this is separate from the actual computer settings. So in Zoom settings, select the internal, it just says speakers slash headphones as your speaker source. The internal microphone can be used here. That's not a problem. I have this one muted because all of my audio will be picked up by this microphone that's built into this BCC 950. All right, now, so I have the speakers set here. And then I want to show you down here. If you go down here and, and see what speakers your computer is set at, there's a little speaker icon here. And this speaker icon may show up down here in the tray or may not. So click this up arrow to see it. Click on the speaker and make sure that this is set to the projector. Okay, so your speaker's output right now is going through the HDMI. And that means that if you played a video on here, the kids in the room would be able to hear it, okay? I don't have the speaker muted. Notice, notice that the speaker is not muted right now, okay? So to avoid the feedback, in Zoom, you're gonna have the speakers set to the speaker slash headphones, and then over here, you're gonna make sure that you set this to the projector, okay? Now let's go back to the other computer. So if I check out the settings for the microphone and speaker, they're both set to the BCC 950 conference cam, and that's what we want. Now we're going to go to the lower right-hand corner, and we're going to find the speaker icon. There it is. I'm going to click the speaker icon, and I'm going to see what it's set at. Right now, it's set at the internal speakers, but I'm going to change this to the BCC 950 echo canceling. So now I have the Zoom, and I have the computer speakers set to the BCC 950. Okay. This will avoid the feedback issues you have. So as long as you have this microphone off here, let's turn it on and see if we get feedback. So I have that on. Now I'm hearing some feedback and echo through this speaker right here. So to avoid that, I just turn this off here. I mute that. And notice that I don't have the speakers muted here. I only have to mute the microphone here. Let's talk about the next part. Okay, now let's say we're in our Zoom session and I wanna share a video from YouTube with this computer. Because this computer is projecting up to the board. Okay, it's projecting up there. So all of the students in the room can see the board and I want them to be able to see the video on the board, hear it through the Dell speakers and the students at home to also be able to see the video and hear it. So here's how you would do that. I would just go to, I have the video already ready here in Chrome. I'm gonna click on that. And let's say that here's the video right here. And it's playing, the volume is playing right now through the Dell. That's what we set it at before, so that's good. And now what I'm gonna do is go to, back to Zoom. We're gonna share this. So I'm gonna share my screen, click share screen. And I'm just going to say screen and then make sure you click on share sound. That's really important, this little box right here. Okay, so now at home they'll be able to hear this. And I can click share. If I hit play, 
the students at home will be able to hear it, okay, and the students in the room will be able to hear it because they're going to hear it through the Dell projector and the ceiling. Okay. One last thing. When I hit play, we're still going to hear the computer sound coming out of the speaker. So we actually should mute this speaker. So I'll play it first and you'll hear what I'm talking about. So if I go over here and I say, okay, let's play the video. We're sharing our screen. Play the video. So we're hearing a slight delay because it's playing in the room up here, but it's also playing from this one and that's what the kids at home will hear. So what I need to do is just turn this speaker off. How do I do that? I can go down here and I can just go down and click on the speaker icon and mute this. So now when I play this, here's what happens. Now I'm only hearing this. I'm not hearing anything else. So I'm not hearing an echo coming through here because I muted that. On this computer. All right, hopefully that was helpful in getting you set up for success and getting rid of the feedback issues you have. I will put a series of steps together that you need to do in a Google Doc. They'll be linked in the description. You can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.